are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse two many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in god verse three but thou O lord art a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison And the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. That kept the prison verse 7 the Bible says and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the Bible says and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision Ten. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the Bible says they came unto the iron gate that leaded to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of men. It says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that the gate opened on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, every gate standing my way of influence and visibility, I declare be broken right now. Lift your voice and pray. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of power and cut the bars of iron in thunder. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them would see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael we are going to pray lord bring speed to my life bring speed to my life lift your voice and begin to prophesy speed 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 someone prophesy someone declare speed to my destiny speed to my destiny Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 3. Psalm 125 verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. 
in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving, but in the realm of the Spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that morning zion verse 3 
it says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified verse 4 i receive it for myself it says and they shall build the old waste they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations verse 5 and strangers this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feed listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, There is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, Although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, Am I a dog? that the king will be sending for me he said the children of ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how god will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepared blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we are going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish 
one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Listen to me. Every strange pattern and occurrence in any family, circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves. I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I break those patterns now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The Bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And for a while, things would not go well in his life. And one day he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Is someone ready to pray? Listen, God is a God of increase. Is It is the will of God that you keep moving from glory to glory. Not that you become stunted in one position. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, expand. Expand to the left. Expand to the right. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Expand to the east. Expand to the north. Expand to the south. Expand to the west. Expand overseas. In the name of Jesus Christ.
let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that don't believe that so i don't know what dimension is deficient in your ministry open your mouth in one minute you are lying down on a ground here i like you to pray please cry from the depth of your heart Rakata brakate bakoto sokote rakato skete bakata cry to the god of heaven shabante kepe keto kate bakata advance pray advance pray 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 pray
just a few minutes and we're done man of God pray doors are about to be open for you hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season in ministry. Please pray one minute, don't be tired. Ancient Zion's King, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's King, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. 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 Let me speak over you. Now I'm going to pray over you. And when I do, a point is going to come when I will kindly invite Reverend Sam there is a grace upon his life that I sense in my spirit that you must have God has granted him unusual acceptance even among the Caucasians even across the nations of the earth and it is a grace that many people need even at this point in their lives but I want to pray for you I decree and declare right now the grace that drives a man to the secret place to hunger and seek for God take that grace now take that receive that grace right now that grace for the secret place let it come like fire let it burn everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I don't know what has hidden your glory, hidden your destiny, but I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic as one helped by God. In the name of Jesus, rise to be global. Rise to be global by the spirit of the living God. Receive the grace for visibility. In the name of Jesus, I break limits territorial limits cultural limits in the name of Jesus Christ help them please I call you out, out of cultures. I call you out. I pull you prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Now hear me. I want to release the grace for speed. And many people will start running by the anointing. 
you don't have to bring them out but just help them so they don't injure themselves in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and for every ministry every business here receive speed 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 help them please help them speed I release that grace I release that mantle I release that grace I release that mantle I release that grace speed in ministry 10 years in one year one year in one month I like Barra. You are the mighty God. Hey, I told you. You are the Alagara. You are the mighty God. One more time. Hallelujah. I want to declare the favor of God upon you. I don't know how people live without it. Reverend Sam, I don't know how people excel without the favor of God. But I want you to believe me that when this mantle actually enters your life, you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen. Right now in the name of Jesus, for as many whose hearts are open to receive, I stretch my hands right now. Receive the grace for favor. Receive the grace for favor. Favor in the city. Favor in the country. Favor in Abuja. Favor in Lagos. Favor in Europe. Favor in America. Favor in the Caribbean. All over the globe. Receive it in the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah now you're about to receive the last and then I'm done the grace for signs and wonders listen in an era of faking miracles telling lies state managing all kinds of things it is absolutely unnecessary when you carry this grace there are many of you right now who have the call of God upon your life it takes more than a message you will need the backing of heaven signs wonders manifestations of power i want to agree with you and then i'll ask reverend sam to come and i truly believe that he's going to declare that grace upon your life i don't know where you are you may be a man of god a prophet an apostle signs and wonders will distinguish you it can brand a man and put you in a class of relevance even for the sake of his majesty i'm praying right now maybe not for everybody but for someone who has cried some of you have seen it in dreams there will be a mighty outpouring right now father i declare at the count of three please everyone shout jesus and that grace rests upon you father that you honor your word let there be mighty impartations for signs and wonders are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus take that grace take that grace take that grace i activate the miraculous in ministry signs and wonders signs and wonders you will be a woman of god with power and fire you will be a man of god with power and fire receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah can I please invite Reverend Sam to just come up
tell you in truth one of the graces and I've seen this grace at work in Reverend Sam's life God has granted him unusual access even among the Caucasians they are a very difficult people group to penetrate and God has granted him that grace and while I was here I just sensed in my spirit that he's going to make some declarations I know he will still come back up but I just want him to make that declaration please open up your heart and receive it Reverend Sam God has helped you God has opened these doors please can you declare over his people can I say something here whilst I was on my knees here that's very private I'm not gonna make that public as much as I honor the grace of God over the Apostle um, the Lord has told me something I must pursue in him and I will sow into that very strongly I'm going to do something I've never done I'm going to give at a level I've never done to anybody at this level because I know what the Lord has spoken to me and I know God has opened doors for me globally and all of that cross-culturally I know that and the apostle was the very first in this city after Pastor Kunle Shorinyo came and said, Pastor Sam, we recognize there's a grace on your life that has opened doors for you across the nations. And I said, I didn't even think about that. And then Apostle came and said, Pastor Sam, we've seen that grace on your life. And I must thank you, sir. I never knew that. And I sense in my spirit today, rather than just pray that the grace that is, I have a cry that it will not just be what I carry. We are all standing together. Can it be what we carry? Can I pray with you, joining my hands with the apostle, that there will be a double portion on your life? Apostle, may I just humbly? Can we pray together? This is the first time you are having this. And as we begin to pray, barriers will begin to break. People will begin to fall under the power of God because a double is coming on you. That's the power of God on your life. A double is coming on you. A double is coming on you. A double is coming on you. Man, God, that double is coming on you like fire. Gates are broken. Chains are destroyed. Chains are destroyed. Doors are shattered. Yokes are destroyed. We speak over your life from today. Your doors are open. I need some help on the monitor here. Your doors are open. Your gates are open. Paul the apostle said, when I arrived at Troas, a door was already open. From today, the doors of cities are open. The doors of regions are open. The doors of nations are open. The doors of the hearts of men are open. The doors of the hearts of kings are open. From today we decree and declare, be you lifted up. Ye everlasting doors, be you lifted up. O ye gates, from today I decree, the nations are open. The nations are open. The nations are open. Your doors are open every altar keeping your doors closed we shatter the altar we destroy the altar every word spoken over your life that has closed your doors we command the words overturn we command the words overturn your doors are open marital doors open ministry doors open business doors open career doors open I decree all doors open. All doors open. If you receive that, shout your loud as they. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, how many of you still have your request? Remember yesterday you were told to come. Please, quickly, ushers, can you help us? I have just about two minutes here. Okay, I still see people waving theirs. Please, if you have yours, just wave it so that um, you can pass it to the last person at the aisle. Can we do that very quickly? So that we'll wrap up. Please begin to pray in the spirit, everyone. In the name of Jesus, these Egyptians I see today. 
my God. I see them no more. Someone is praying. You're writing for your ministry. You're writing for your business. And for those who are following online, make sure you connect. We're about to pray on the request now. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please let the request make their way here very quickly so that we pray. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. still keep it lifted very quickly ushers can you help us whether you or not you are an usher just one person volunteer to help us pick it from them let's make it very snappy are you praying in the spirit already i still see people at the there's a lady waving hands there please very quickly please just bring it forward hallelujah watch this please listen to me i had the honor to be in the prayer room of our father and the lord daddy geo and one of the requests when i got there i laid down the floor and one of the requests that i prayed on i said father i know that you have helped me but there are men you have helped whatever covenant you have or that of answered prayer that this man will just stand and say in jesus name may god bless you and then doors open i cried unto god from the depth of my heart and i believe that grace came on me from that day it was as if god bound himself with a covenant that when you pray hallelujah that that supernatural grace for answered prayers and i have watched god do wonders your ministry is a praying ministry your man of god is a man of prayer testimonies abound all across the globe as proof that prayer works and you are about to experience another dimension of the wonder working power of god we may not have the time to minister to people one-on-one -on -one. we may not have the time to prophesy upon people this is a minister's a leadership conference but we are going to pray and wherever you are i'm going to begin my prayer now so please those with the request will just use this as a point of contact while i pray i want you to stretch my hand your hands towards the altar and i want you to make declarations of faith i'm releasing my faith with the angel over this house reverend sam his dear wife the leadership and every man who has mounted this platform in the name of jesus to preach please if there are people outside can we have their requests also and we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy and we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right now Stretch your hands as I pray. I'd like you to begin to make declarations. Every mountain, every challenge that has mocked God in your life. Some of you financial challenge. Some of you health, terminal diseases. Some of you organizational issues. Please cry unto God. Something is about to break open in your life right now.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus yes Reverend Sam can you join me please let's just do this together now let me tell you the truth I want you to truly believe that God answers prayers and we bow our knees as men and women helped by God even over this you don't have to kneel but in the name of Jesus I speak over this request every request here be turned to a testimony now I repeat every request here be turned to a testimony now hear me every helper of destiny who must arise and see to it that these requests are answered may God raise them may God raise them may God raise them in the name of Jesus father I join my faith with your servant and I decree and declare from today that the God who answers by fire you will begin to answer every request here your heart's cry is answered in the name of Jesus concerning your finances there is a mega shift from today concerning your ministry there is a turnaround from today concerning your child there is a turnaround in your child's life your womb is opened your womb is opened your womb is opened by this same time next year according to the time of life you shall return with a child this reproach in your ministry is over the days of looking for a job those days are over you will move into a spacious office receive a mega job receive a great job in the name of Jesus Christ let barriers be shattered let limitations be driven back let curses be broken let patterns be destroyed let negativity be reversed you will handle evidence in your hands with the grace released on your life by the apostle from today you shall begin to command results begin to command results begin to command results evidence will enter your hands results will enter your house from today it will be surprise after surprise surprise will follow surprise it is done praise the name of the lord hallelujah one final word and i'm out please listen while i was meditating in the morning the lord gave me a word i decided to leave that word until we're here and this is a word for someone and that someone could be even everybody there are we together please stand everybody We're about to pray if you can hold hands together hold hands together please lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace the walls of pride and prejudice shall see when we are your, your instrument of peace two prayer points prayer point number one is for everyone but particularly for our men father everything that has made the men weak 
through disunity let there be a restoration of that state go ahead and pray go ahead and pray there is a reason why i said hold hands word of life every business mm. Every family, someone is praying. Let every ministry connected to this grace, family connected to this altar, business. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. So now you understand Psalm 133. It says, In that state of unity, the Lord had commanded the blessing, even life. Now you are ready to declare life. You know what life is? For some of you, the life you need is finances. For some of you, the life you need is strengthening of your body. When I saw our father, I stood and true confession. I was already praying for myself and said, Lord, the grace you have placed upon this man, that at this age and at this point, I'm sure that if we run many young people, he will run greater than you. Don't you ever think this one is more than vitamins and minerals. There is a mysterious, ah, come on, please. Word of life. Are we together? Hear me. For some of you, the life you need is the wisdom to produce results. For some of you, the life you need is strategic relationships. I don't know what represents life. But now you will release your hands and you will clap your hand from the depth of your heart and cry lord release life to my finances to my destiny of Jesus in the name of Jesus for someone here you are saying apostle you may not know the kind of darkness that has surrounded my life I have good news for you the Bible says God who commanded light out of darkness not into darkness God can use darkness as a raw material and bring light out of it now please let me seek permission from our father and our mother if they will permit. I want to plead with you. Tomorrow night when you are coming at the permission of our father, please I want you to come with a prayer request. Write everything that must leave your destiny. Every long standing issue that has frustrated the grace of God and that expectation you have cried for. I want you to bring it. If it is true that in unity the blessing can be commanded i want to share with you a few things tomorrow hopefully and as god grants grace we'll have time to minister to people please let me plead with you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god every man of god you know and every man businessman captain of industry all roads lead to word of life if there is no space sit on the fence sit outside and for your family members in diaspora, I believe that they can connect by way of internet or television. Let us allow God to give us a visitation that befits this sacrifice. Are we in agreement? May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord rest upon your life. I stand in agreement with every prophetic decree that has come upon our Father 
in the name of Jesus, let this be the season of manifestation. Go from glory to glory. Some of you, between now and tomorrow, you will return with wonders and testimonies. For in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Man of God, you talked about someone with a court case. This great man here is facing a court case. Wow. Now, since our father has come with this man here, I'm not going to ask him to just come and stand. How many of you believe in the Lord Jesus and believe in the ministry of this great man? I want you right where you are in one minute, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, for the sake of the gospel, we establish victory. Amen. In one minute, go ahead. In the name of Jesus. We establish victory. We establish victory. Let there be victory. We establish victory. We declare victory. In the name of Jesus. Father, I stand upon the grace of our Father. And Lord, we speak over this great man of God doing mighty things for you. Father, for the sake of your name, defend your name over his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The word hallelujah means halal Yeshua. It means to praise the Lord. It's a mystery chance that can bring down every wall of Jericho. Seven times and you will be seated. Does someone have the faith to believe what we are doing? Are you ready now? Number one. Alleluia! And he said the shout of a king is in the midst of death. Number two. Alleluia! Some of you as, as you are shouting, certain infirmities in your body will be living. Are you ready now? Number three. Alleluia! Who are thou mounting before the Rubabel? Before the Rubabel, thou shalt become plain at the shout, Grace, Grace. Are you ready? Number four. Hallelujah! Number five. The Bible says, and on the seventh day, they went round Jericho seven times. The priests were leading the ark. There are times you win without a sword. That sword is a double-edged sword that comes from your lips. Is someone ready to end certain cycles and certain patterns in their life? Number six. Hallelujah. Bible says when the Lord shall come the first thing we will hear is the blast of a trumpet because every time a king comes he comes with triumph he said the shout of a king shall not depart it's a shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous when he was born he was born in silence but when it was time for him to have a triumphant entry they shouted Hosanna and they said, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Someone as you shout this final shout, is a prophetic shout into your new season. Are you ready now? Seven! Hallelujah. May God bless you. Please be seated and give me the next five to ten minutes. Ruach Elohim. 
Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, feel this place. conference and we'll be dealing along the lines of this prophetic word. Somebody will start running from his seat now. Just hold the person. The power of God is coming from someone. Physically you stand up and start running. Please hold the person. Hold them right now. God is ending delay. He's taking away the spirit of delay. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. Just be sensitive. Whether you are an usher or not, just be your neighbor's keeper. I'm saying it again. People will stand up like physically and start running. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Help her. Speed is coming to your destiny. Speed, speed is coming. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Jezreel. Psalm 133. Water, you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. expectation you have in this church but I sense that much prayer has gone for this meeting and, and there is serious, there is a drawing and a pulling of the anointing I want to teach but you people will not let me teach. Who is Ifai? Ifai your season of reward is coming this is what I'm hearing. I don't know who you are he, does, he works here in the ministry oh you are one of the pastors can I pray for you? Something is going to come upon your life that will turn you around. Because I heard the name Ifai. You are Ifai too. I will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says that we are not weary in well-doing. It says for we will reap in due season if we faint not. Grace upon him, O God. We stretch our hands as the house of God and we declare you step into a new dimension. That which you have seen in the life of our Father, I decree and declare. Let it be reproduced in your life. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for all of you too, in Jesus' name, may God help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You walk with UBA. I just saw UBA. That's United Bank UBA. Who is that person? Ifai, 
if this is all I do tonight and I wrap up, will you be offended? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity. In the name of Jesus Job said in six things the Lord will deliver you. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every trouble around your unit where you are working that would demand deducting money from you to pay for. In the name of Jesus we stand prophetically the house of God is a solution center and we decree in the name of Jesus it shall not stand because the Lord has not decreed it it shall not stand in the name of Jesus rather when men say there is a casting down for you and all those who are connected to this altar let it be for you that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for exemption let it come upon you it says, and when I see the blood, I will pass. We place upon you that mark of the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sylvester. Sylvester. Who is Sylvester? Sylvester. It's like you have come out here again. I'm seeing a face that, who is Sylvester? Who is that? Ah, this man again? I thought you answered another name verify so that uh, is he Sylvester huh? okay I, I'm sorry don't be embarrassed I just want to you know sometimes because of the abuse of the prophetic and the abuse of so many things sometimes we are careful just because there is the mismanagement of spiritual things no it, it does not mean there are people who fear God are we together now and this is one of the things that you need to understand unfortunately and sadly we know that the body of Christ may have all kinds of things but that does not mean everybody graced by God is acting or playing games there are people who fear God hallelujah the Lord has spoken once you have heard twice that power belongs to God in the name of Jesus Christ, truly, God is doing something in your ministry. There are things we may not be able to say in the open, but in the name of Jesus, the wisdom that prepares you for the next level of your kingdom assignment, I stretch my hands in Jesus' name. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone for two years you have been looking for someone who is missing i don't know who that like two years and since like i don't know if it's a brother a relative or somebody you know has been missing who is that person hmm. and samuel told saul he says the donkey you are looking for that he has been found under a certain conditions, missing things can return home. Not every condition, but a certain spiritual condition. Madam, who have you been looking for? Who is James? Brother! Who is James? My brother, my That's blood the person brother. Who has been missing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Jesus. Hmm. 
Father, here at Word of Life, we stand upon this altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, that everybody who is not where they should be, by the power of the prophetic, we relocate them back to the place of destiny. Is someone agreeing with this prayer? We relocate them back to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, we relocate them back to the place of destiny. And we decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we release them to return home. We release them to touch base with their various families. Let it be so. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.